Hello my friend, thank you for stopping by. So today we're going to be looking at how to start affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing is huge and um, it, it can make you a lot of money, but knowing how to start is very important because like I shared in the previous video, about 80% of people doing affiliate marketing are not making any money. That's the truth. It's hard, but that's the truth. So understanding how to start, what you need to do, will save you all the distress, save you all the frustration that most affiliate marketers are currently going through, why they are not making money and you know trying to find other means to scam people and all that. So number one is that you need to understand that affiliate marketing is a real business. So it's kind of mind reset. Understand that if you really want to do affiliate marketing, it's like starting in business. Do you understand? So the same mindset you have when you want to start a business is the same mindset you're going to have when you want to start affiliate marketing. It's a real business. It's an authentic business. It's a business that is legitimate, a legit business. It can make you lots of money and it requires every effort you need. Right? There are work to be done. Right? The money will not fall from the tree. You're going to do a lot of work for it to also. Number one is reset your mind and make yourself understand that this is real business I want to get into. All right? That's number one. Number two is that you need to decide on a niche, an area, or an industry where you want to play, where you, know, you want to start from. Fine, you can expand as you grow to include maybe two or three niches. But when you are starting out, you're going to start with one area, you're going to start with one niche. So you need to decide the particular niche you want to you know, start with. Decide which one you want to start with. And when you are deciding on the niche or the industry or the area you want to you know, play or start with, the number one thing you need to consider is your area of passion. Yes. What are you passionate about? Now, why you need to choose an area that you're passionate about is that, like I said, this is business. And this is going to require some time. It's going to require some effort. It's going to mean you doing some things. And if you're not passionate about that thing, you may lose steam. You may lose interest. And you may quit even before the results start coming. That is why when you are deciding on a niche, the first thing you need to consider is your area of passion, where you can do something without getting tired. For instance, I like teaching. If I'm hungry and I start teaching, I forget that I'm hungry until I'm done teaching. Then I'll not remember that I'm hungry. For some people, maybe something else, maybe fitness, maybe other thing. So just find out your area of passion. What are you passionate about? Because that is what will deliver the money, because it is your area of passion that you're going to serve people. Remember, this is about serving people. It's about serving people, which, which I'm going to let you know shortly. If you don't serve people, affiliate marketing will not deliver any money to you. So it's not just about you know, sharing links with anybody you see. No, it's about serving a particular audience. So number two is decide on a niche and you must consider your area of passion. Number three, get the required knowledge or training. Every business that you want to succeed in requires knowledge no matter the type of business number one reason why people fail in business is not because they don't have money no it's not because the product is not good no it's not because there's no market for their product no the major reason why people fail in business is that they lack knowledge yes they lack knowledge some people raise money after raising money from investors instead of investing the money in the business they go on a spending spree and before you know it the business collapses is lack of knowledge. So that is why the number three thing is to get knowledge around that your area of passion. Remember we said, if you are choosing a niche, it has to be your area of passion. But passion is not enough. You need knowledge. Knowledge is what will drive this business. Every business thrives on knowledge. Most businessmen, entrepreneurs who are doing very well, are doing so well because they understand their business. They have knowledge. So if it requires you to get a training, do. So you have to get knowledge. Very, very important. Get knowledge so that you will do it correctly. Get knowledge on how to do this thing because every business 
has a how. There is a how around everything you do in life. There is a how on how to succeed in this affiliate marketing. All right? So get knowledge, get training. Then the next point. The next point, number four, is to decide on the value you are going to offer to your audience. It's getting interesting now, right? So what value am I going to offer to my audience? What kind of value? How do I want to serve them? Remember I told you it's going to be about service, about serving your audience. Do I want to teach them something? Do I want to inform them? Do I want to entertain them while teaching them that thing? How do I want to serve my audience? Because by all means, you must serve a particular group of people to make money in affiliate marketing. So that niche that you have chosen has an audience, right? The people who are interested in that kind of thing. For instance, let's say internet marketing, for instance, there are people who are interested in making money online. It's a niche. There are products that you can sell to those kind of people. For instance, somebody wants to make money online, let's have to build a website. You can't talk about making money online and you don't talk about websites. So products like domain, hosting, and all those stuff, and those people will need it. SEO tools, they will need it. Graphic design tools, they will need it. So that's a niche. Okay, let's say somebody who is in the health and fitness niche. People want to get, you know, a stronger body. They want to exercise. They want to work out. People want to stay healthy. They need product. There are products they are going to be interested in. They may be interested in, you know, a workout program to build muscles. They may be interested in supplements and so many other things like that. So depending on the niche, every niche has products that, you know, the audience will be interested in. That is why, how, do I, how am I going to serve them? Serving them means you're going to help them solve their problem ahead of time before even asking them to use your link. You're going to teach them something. There are several kind of content you can create. So that means you're going to be creating content. Do you understand it now? You're going to be creating content to serve this, your audience, because this is the people that will produce the money. If you don't serve them to create a connection between you and them, in such a way that they love you. They look forward to your content. When they love your content, when they are getting benefit from what you are sharing, and what you are sharing is helping their life, helping them solve their problems, when you ask them to use your link, they will do it without asking any question. In fact, they will do it joyfully. You understand how it works now? So decide on the value. So the value may be, I want to share content with them via video. Right? I want to share video content with them, teaching them something, informing them, entertaining them, you know, helping them solve their problems ahead of time. The value can be okay. I'm going to use a blog to share content with them. I'm going to be writing articles and all that. So different kind of value. So you need to decide on that. I know as you're deciding on this thing, you're also taking note of the audience and what they will like, how they will like this value to be delivered. If your audience are much younger audience, you know that you can't do without video. And platform like TikTok and Instagram will be your natural place for social media. Why you also augment it with other social media like YouTube. Then you talk about website and blog. So the audience will determine how you're going to serve them this value. So the value, deciding on the value is number four. Number five is decide on the platform you're going to use. The platform is where are you going to serve them this value? Are you serving them the value on your website, on your blog? Are you serving them this value on your social media handles? Which social media handles are you going to use? There are several of them. Are you using Facebook? Are you using Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, Pinterest? And several of them. Which one are you going to use to serve them? Which platform? All right? So you need to decide on the platform. And it depends on the audience and where they are hanging out. Because if you want to reach somebody, you need to know how to reach the person. There are people who want to read them and you call them, you're not going to get them. They will not answer you. But when you send them a message, they will reply. So you know that they are more you know, inclined to, they love message more. They communicate via message more. Why some people, if you send them a message, you have their reply for two days. But if you call them, they will answer you instantly. So the same thing, there are people if you send a message on Facebook, they will not see it. If you share any value on Facebook, they will not be aware. But if you go to Instagram, they are there. If you go to TikTok, they are there. There are people that are not on TikTok, they are not on Instagram, they are on LinkedIn. So, your audience determines the platform. So, it is the platform where they are that you're going to use to serve them this value. Alright, you decide on the platform. Number six is 
you build the platform. It's not enough to decide the platform. You have to build it. So if, you are, if, you, if it's a blog, your website, you need to build the blog. Right? You need to build the blog, set up the website, buy domain, buy hosting, buy a theme, get to store WordPress, you know, put up the platform. You need to build the platform. If it's a social media handle, you need to sign up to this platform, Facebook, Instagram, optimize it. You know, you need to get your platform ready so that your audience will be able to see this value you are prepared to give them. You are prepared food for them or you need to serve them the food via a platform. So the next one, number seven, is to start offering them this value. It is time to serve them this value. If it's articles, start writing this article, start creating the content. Write the articles, share valuable things with them, how to do this, industry this, this one, that one, how to solve this problem. Begin to share the articles. If it's video, YouTube video, begin to create the videos. Product comparison, reviews, all these things. Anything that will be beneficial to this audience, start delivering to them. Videos on TikTok, videos on Facebook, anything, all these things. Start serving them the content. As you do this, more people will congregate to your platform. More people will start loving what you do, liking it. More people will look forward to this, your content, because they are enjoying it. Remember, right now, you have not talked about making any money. You have not talked about anything. You are still trying to build your audience. So as more and more people come, they are getting more value. They are telling other people. Other people are coming. They are congregating on your platform. By now, you are building a community. Remember, you are, you know, you are doing what is called labor of love, community service now, because you are just spending money, creating this content, putting up this thing. You have not made a dime. But don't worry. You are investing. You are sowing a seed that will eventually germinate and grow and give you value, right? And bring, you know, harvest to you. All right, that's number seven. Number eight, it is now time to find affiliate product or program to promote. Remember, you already built an audience. This is your audience. You know what they'll be interested in. In fact, you have started solving their problem. So you are not going to look for products that align with what you have been doing. So you go to platforms like Impact Radius, Commission Junction, ClickBank, Share Sale. All these are platforms where you can get products to sell across several niches to be able to promote to your audience. If you can't, you know, you are confused when you get to the platform, you can go on Google and pick your niche and say affiliate programs or best affiliate programs around this niche. Type the niche. You're going to see a lot of programs. From their website, they will direct you to whichever affiliate network they use. I'll give you an instance um, like Namecheap. If you go to Namecheap and you want to sign up to the affiliate program, they will direct you to Impact Radius or Commission Junction, those are the two they use. So when you go to Canva or any of the affiliate uh, marketing like Nimchip, they will direct you to the particular platform they use. Most of them, like I said, they use Impact Radio. So if it's Canva, um, Canva uses Impact Radio. If it's Nimchip, Nimchip uses Impact Radio and Commission Junction. So they will direct you to sign up to any of these. And once you sign up to uh, those platforms, they will approve you. And part of the things they will ask you, they may ask you for a website, they may ask you for your social media handles, of course. What they are trying to do when they ask you this question is to be sure that you have an audience, that you have an audience that is interested in their product because, I mean, what's the essence of signing up? You are not going to promote the product. If you sign up and they give you a link and you are not selling for them, it's a waste of time, all right? So they will ask you for all this information, you will feed the information, then they will approve, all right? Once they approve you, all right? Once they approve you, you will now uh, be given a link. The link they are going to give you is your identity on their platform. The link they will give you is your identity on the platform. That is what determines whatever you are doing. They will be tracking it with a link. So that is how to, you know, go about finding your affiliate program or product and registering. So once you are done with that, the next thing you're going to do, number nine, is to use the product if possible. Now you may say, ah, the next thing should be to promote. No. I recommend, now this one is a recommendation, it's not a must, but you actually use an affiliate product before promoting it. But when you have used an affiliate product before promoting it, there's a kind of confidence you have. For instance, let me give you a typical instance, typical example. 
I promote Namecheap products, their hosting products. I use Namecheap to build most of my website. And I mean, this is free advert I'm doing for Namecheap because they didn't pay me any money for this, but that's okay. Now I use their hosting package to you know, host most of my website, both the one I build for clients and the one I build for my business. We use it. Now, when I'm promoting the product, it's kind of easy because I've used the product. For instance, one of the, uh, the thing I love about Namecheap is their customer service, right? Their customer service is very robust. They answer you anytime, any day. Live chat, they will solve the problem instantly, all right? So that's one of the things. So when I share it with my students or with the people that are, you know, in my audience on YouTube or everywhere, I, there's a kind of confidence I have because I know that what I'm sharing with them is beneficial. It's something that will, you know, solve their problem, something that they will get value from, right? I know that the money is affordable and the product is good. So sometimes affiliate marketers pick up products they've not used, they don't know, and start sharing with their audience. And at the end of the day, they hurt their audience because the product is not good. The audience use the product and they don't like it. And in fact, instead of solving their problem, it increases their problem. So that is why I recommend that before you start promoting any affiliate product, use it first. Confirm that it is good. Confirm that the product is good because there are so many products that are not good, that have been offered, you know, as an affiliate product, but it's not good. Yes. So your job as the affiliate marketer is to use the product, you know, find out that the product is good before promoting it, you know, to your audience. So that is, that is number nine. So number 10 is to, you know, start sharing this wonderful product that you have used that you love that solves problem start sharing it with your audience and how do you do that you do that through the content you share when you do a content for them it may be a product review it may be um, comparison it may be information based maybe entertainment based but everything is geared towards helping them solve problem then you can now share the link and say oh use the link you know, you can tell them, oh, I host my website with Namecheap. Namecheap is one of the best hosting platform. If you want to build a website and you're looking for the best host, use Namecheap. The link is in my description. Use that link in my description. That's it. You just promoted your affiliate link. And once any of your audience clicks on that link and buys from Namecheap, your money will be credited to you. It's as simple as that. But look at the process we went through before coming to the point of sharing with your audience. You can see that that's not the first thing we do. Or so many persons, the first thing to do is to register and collect the link and start sharing. No, follow the process. If you really want to make money from affiliate marketing and not end up like the 80% that don't make a dime, if you don't want to end up like them, follow this simple process that I have applied. Of course, if you go to the description of this video, you're going to see two important solutions that can help you get started with affiliate marketing. One is an ebook that we have written affiliate marketing a to z everything i'm sharing with you is inside that ebook in a more detailed form the second one is affiliate marketing online course a to z is still the same name affiliate marketing a to z online course is there that one is a video course where you can learn how to do affiliate marketing you know in the right way and everything i'm sharing with you is inside that video so you can pick any of this and get started with it to solve the problem of knowledge, of learning how to do it, all right? If you do that, you're going to start well, and you're going to earn money at the end, all right? And of course, there are other resources, free resources, I'm going to drop on the description. So be sure to check the description. I'm sure you found value in the video. If you have, remember to like, share the video, and I'll see you again in another exciting video.